Hello guys, so finally I am doing a hair video. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird, it's hard to understand me. Um, I'm a little sick, but anyway, I'm going to go over my hair routine in a little bit about my um, hair journey. So, I have been natural for about four years now, but it actually wasn't until last December that I did the big chop. Um, I didn't technically do the big chop. I cut off about four inches of my hair. I just don't look good with really short hairstyles. Um, but my hair was up to there. And, I mean, when you look in some of my pictures, um, you can see that my hair is really short, like the ones recently, my outfit post. Uh, my hair is like up to here. And I got it cut last December and was up to there. So it looks like it hasn't grown that much, but it actually has. My curl pattern was completely different before I cut my hair. They were a lot looser. Um, you can see now that my curls are really tight. Um, I have three C curls all over. Um, so yeah, my hair was up to there. It's now down to there. Um, so it shrinks up about three inches or so. Um, so that's a year of hair growth for me. Um, later on tonight, I'm sorry that my hair is up. I can't really show you what my hair looks like down. But later on tonight, I'm going to do a little video on how I do my twist outs. Um, so I can show you guys my length then. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's my hair. Um, I haven't been straightening that much. been trying to just stay away from all that. I um, don't want to put any heat on my hair. I have been diffusing it, but um, I've been kind of just doing my hair routine at nighttime so I can do the twist outs, um, do a little protective style. So that's what I've been doing. But um, I guess I'll go over my hair routine with you guys. So where's my shampoo? I don't know. It disappeared in my room. But anyway, oh, here it is. So for shampoo, I'm using the Shea Moisture Retention Shampoo. You can get this stuff from Target. Um, I like this stuff a lot. It doesn't lather too much. It um, doesn't have any sulfates in it. If you're looking for a shampoo, stay away from sulfates. They're only going to dry out your hair. Um, this stuff is all natural as well. So I like this stuff a lot. Um, and then for conditioners, for detanglers, I am using two... Um, I'm using Lush Retread. I like this stuff a lot. Long list of good ingredients. I was using a lot more Lush products, but I ran out. Um, I won't be getting any more until I go back in December, back to California. So, um, yeah, this stuff is really lightweight. Um, I like this a lot because it just makes um, brushing through my curls a lot easier. Um, but then I'm also combining it with this, the Islands Naturals Conditioner Aubre um, for dry and frizzy hair. The stuff is really thick, and my curls just suck it right up. Um, these both moisturize really good. Um, I just like them a lot together. It's a lot easier to detangle my hair, so that's why I use them together. So what I do is put that stuff in my hair with a wide tooth comb. I comb out my curls, um, put my hair back in a bun, and then I take the rest of my shower. And the reason why I do that in the beginning is because I want all those products to really penetrate my curls. So all that heat and steam will allow that to happen. Um, so then I'm finished taking my shower, wash that stuff out. And then um, every single time that I've been washing my hair, I've been deep conditioning it. And I've been using the olive oil replenishing packs that you can get from Target or the beauty supply store. And... Um, I've noticed a huge difference in my curls since I've been using that, doing the little um, treatment. Um, my curls don't get tangled as much. They're a lot softer. Um, I've been getting second day hair, sometimes even third day hair when I'm doing the twist outs. Even fourth day hair, which is crazy. I don't know if that's even real, but it is. Anyway, <laughs> um... So yeah, what I do with the olive oil, I'll just put that in my curls, really saturate it, put my hair on top of my head, and then put a plastic bag over that. And um, I let that sit for an hour. If I'm running short on time, I at least let it sit for um, 30 minutes. Um, so yeah. So I let that sit in there for an hour, wash it out. Um, after I'm done washing that out, I put in a leave-in conditioner. Um, 
I'm using Aubre Blue Calamine Conditioner for normal hair. Um, both of these products, these two, I got from the beauty supply, no, not the beauty supply store, I got them from a little health food um, store. So you can probably get these from like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, any health food store, something like that. So I like this stuff a lot. Um, it's really thick, really moisturizing. Um, it's just really good stuff. So I like their products a lot. I'm using their conditioners right now. Um, I might try out their shampoo soon too after I'm almost out of this stuff. So yeah, after I'm done putting this stuff, I've been locking in moisture. And what I mean by that is after I put in my conditioner, I put in um, oil on top of that. I've been using coconut oil. Um, and what I do is just put that in my hair, just shingle that all throughout my hair. Um, and then I spritz water on top of my hair. The water has a little bit of water-based um, conditioner in it, um, leave-in conditioner. And I just spray that all throughout my hair. And then I just let my hair air dry um, or I do my twist outs. And actually, I'm sorry, before I do that, I put in my styling product. After I put in the oil and spritz my hair with water, I put in my styling product, the Kinky Curling Curling Custard. You can get this stuff from Target. I like this a lot. Um, I've been using gels. My hair doesn't get too... It actually doesn't get hard at all. It doesn't get crunchy. Um, my hair just sucks this stuff right up. And I'm going to start looking into mousses, but I don't... I, I kind of like using this because I know it's organic. Um, and I don't use a lot, um, so my hair just kind of... I don't know, it just sucks it up. So it doesn't, it doesn't get crunchy, you know, and that can cause a lot of damage on your hair doesn't bend right, doesn't, you know, do its natural thing when it's stuck in one position. So that doesn't happen to my curls at all. Um, I don't use that much, but I like this stuff a lot. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my hair routine. Um, also in between washes, I'm doing the locking in moisture. So my dry hair, then I just put the coconut oil in there, spritz it with the water, um, and then just let that air dry. Don't do anything to my curls. Um, then I'm also using rosemary oil um, on my scalp, and I don't use that much, but I'm kind of using that just for hair growth. My sister said she used it, um, put it on like the back of her little head, like a little one little strand, and she said it, it grew like really freakishly long. It was yeah. So let's see how it works out. I'm trying to grow out my hair right now. I just want to see how long it gets. I just have this like image in my head with me with like really long curly hair and straight hair it would just be awesome so that's what I'm trying to do and then eventually I'll just cut it again because I like the shorter hairstyles I like being able to do this my little puff so yeah anyway if you guys like the video you want more I am gonna do a video tonight um, on how I do my little twist out, show you guys the length of my hair as well. Um, so, but if you guys like the video, hate the video, want more, have any suggestions at all, um, just let me know. And any questions about where I got these products, what they are, just put them in the little comments box. All right, bye.